Hey, Moby, want some bre- <coughs> First? Huh? All right, all right, here you go. Moby? What's wrong? Dear Tim and Moby, Lately, I've been hearing about this swine flu outbreak. I'm scared. Can you tell me more about it? From Kathleen. Oh. There have been a lot of worries about a recent swine flu outbreak. That's when a disease spreads suddenly across a population. But guess what? You can't catch it from eating bacon. Or any other properly cooked pork product for that matter. So you can come out now. Anyway, like other types of flu, swine flu is an illness caused by one of the influenza viruses. There are many strains or versions of influenza virus, each slightly different from the others. Some of them make humans ill, giving us the combination of fever, coughing, body aches, stomach upset, vomiting and diarrhoea that we call the flu. Some strains affect mostly birds, giving them avian flu. And swine flu comes from strains that usually only infect pigs. But occasionally, flu viruses that are normally associated with animals can change or mutate into new strains that can infect humans too. The swine flu that's got everybody so worried is thought to be a mishmash of two previously known swine flu strains. Health officials are still piecing together the details of the most recent outbreak. So far, the worst cases have appeared in Mexico, but it's not clear yet if that's where the virus originated. Once the virus mutated, it's possible that it spread from infected pigs to the farmers who had direct contact with them. Eventually, the virus began passing from one human to another. This particular strain has hit Mexico, the United States, Canada and a number of other countries around the world. Right, swine flu can spread just like any other flu. When an infected person sneezes or coughs, he releases virus-filled droplets into the air that can easily find their way into other people's bodies. Well, normally the flu just makes you ill for a week or so, and then you get better. But in rare cases, and especially with new virus strains, the flu can be dangerous, even deadly. For one thing, our immune system needs time to develop new defences against new strains. So even healthy people can become really ill if they get infected because their bodies don't know how to fight the virus off. But also, when a new flu strain arrives on the scene, scientists need time to develop a treatment that will work against that particular strain. Actually, no. If you get a flu shot before an outbreak of a new strain of flu, it won't help because your shot only protected for older strains. Without proper defences, a new virus can quickly multiply, invade other tissues and organs and spread from person to person. This can lead to an epidemic, a major outbreak of a disease in one region or country. In more serious situations, it can even lead to a pandemic a worldwide outbreak that can affect millions of people. Um, I guess this is the right time to say that it's important not to panic. For one thing, even in Mexico where the flu has hit hardest, most people who have become ill are recovering just fine. And organisations like the European Centre for Disease Prevention and Control and the World Health Organisation have been working around the clock to track the outbreak and keep it from spreading. There are also anti-flu treatments that will work to counter the effects of this swine flu strain. And scientists are rushing to create a vaccine that can prevent people from getting the swine flu in the first place. Sure, there are plenty of ways to protect yourself in the meantime. Maintaining good personal hygiene is a start. Cover your nose and mouth with a tissue when you feel a cough or sneeze coming on. Avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth too often and wash your hands frequently with soap and water. And if you're feeling ill, do your classmates and teachers a favour and stay at home until you feel better.
Well, in places like Mexico, which has been hit more directly with swine flu, people have been using face masks for extra protection. But in the UK, it's unlikely to get to the point where you'll need one. Remember to catch it, bin it, kill it. The best we can do is take care to protect ourselves and stay informed. Right, Moby? You swine!